I wonder if there's something you can do off of this to make this scary. I think this, yeah, this is really good, I think, actually. Backdash is, like, probably the best thing that this has. And the reason is that uh, she can do this into her jump S, right? And it pulls you back in. So, like, she has stuff like this. That's really good. I also think the problem is, is that it's not that good. Like, it's not good enough that it's, like, the greatest thing ever. I, and also, people will probably just 6P. They'll start 6Ping if they see you backdash. Which you could probably, like... You could probably do something different, like backdash and then do this, but... It's not the best thing ever, either. You're gonna get Potemkin super. Everybody always thinks, like, they watch one Twitter clip and then they see HPB, like, combo and HPB on tether and they're like it is impossible for you to tether Potemkin because if you do you will get HP beat every time like I mean it might happen sometime right but it's like not that likely it's gonna happen to me it's gonna happen to you it's gonna happen to everybody who tethers but yes if you tether off throw right I mean you're doing like a mix-up against them or if you tether on like a hit like this where that counter hits, like you're doing a combo, right? So you could get bursted or you could tether in a position that's bad, but most of the time you're not uh, in that kind of a position. Yeah, her jump S is really good. I think characters who can contest it well are gonna be hard, probably, because I think it's pretty important for her neutral that that button is good. So like characters who have really good ground and air and anti-air control, I think are probably gonna be good against her because of it. Conversely, I feel like other characters who wanna control that space, she controls it really well. I don't think there's that many that characters that go up in the airspace against her and can fight her that well from what I've seen. That's so real. This one, this one is really real, it looks like, huh? Like, even if soul is like really low like that, you see what I mean? This looks like Algebra 2 posted up already. Just look down there. Let me take a looky look. Yeah, that's not a good thing to get hit by. Wow, that was a good block. What was our counter hit? The dead posted a counter hit, whatever it's called, combo. Jump H, or jump D, double jump, jump H. I was looking for stroke there. Oh, oh, wow, that was my bad. Oh, nice. I did run up close slash. Yeah, I did it. Uh oh. Yeah, you didn't keep the uh, the note tight there. People mash on Tatami and CJ Jam stream, but not on Dead stream. Did you see Dullahan yesterday? Dullahan never got countered by Tatami, actually. 100%. 100% ratio of blocking Tatami. Oh, whoops, that was in a back dash. Sorry, I mashed on you. It had to be done. It's because they know, Dev. Like, they know you're trying to get that counter hit. And they don't want you to. The close slash combo? Which close slash combo are you talking about? Oh, my button didn't even turn around. Oh, I'm burst. Oh, you mean that combo? That's my combo. I made that up. I've never seen Deb do it. Have you all seen Deb do it? I haven't. Oh, wow. I'm shocked that anti aired actually. I must have pretty heavily missed time that. Bump. Oh. 
I think I'm safe here, but yeah. Obviously not in an ideal position. Wow, that low profile is Kabari, huh? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's chip. It's also two hit. I was expecting dive. Wow. I should 2S there. Whoops. Ah, uh, I expected backdash. He missed. He missed. I should have hit 5P. Alright, he decided getting counter hit was not the wave. Wow. Oh, I must have done it too high. That sucks. Oh, nice. That was good. For Pesomatic, what up? What the? That sucks. Yeah, I safe jumped it that time. I did the timing a little better. The time before that, I think I was just a little late. Yeah, you missed the input, but it would have I would have blocked it anyway, and then I would have fucked up the punish because I was gonna say I was watching Daru versus um, Gobo, and Gobo blocked. He like safe jumped, you know, super, and then he tried to air throw it, and he got ground throw on accident instead. And then because he got ground throw on accident, um, you know, he got hit by the super and died. And I was just thinking like I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> See me in Tetris? Will do. Good old crouching combo. Oh yeah, you can parry that. Oh, I'll take that. That was great. Whoops. I was looking for, like, Tatami cancel or parry or something. Oh, wow. I should have just punished the uh, whatever it's called. That's one thing about Tatami that I actually am kind of sad about is that it's actually really easy to counter poke it. Like, it actually is, it's not a very good, like, defensive tool. Which is not the end of the world. I beat the parry there. Oh, that's how you feel, huh? It doesn't, it's not a very good defensive tool to, like, hold space, you know what I mean? It kind of, like, it loses to a lot of stuff. Whoops. Although, I, right there, that's not the case, but... Sora, Sora. Yeah, air to Tommy. I was just posted up. I saw like a bunch of YouTube comments that were like, why aren't you spamming to Tommy? Like, why aren't you spamming air to Tommy to keep them out? And it's just like, well, primarily because it's not like, it doesn't do that much in this game. It's like just a, a defensive, you know, thingamajig. It like doesn't do that much. Oh, that sucks. It's not, it's not like that. It's not like, you know, you know how people are. They're like, 
they played the old game or they talk like they played the old game and are like, man, like, you know, in the old game, you just do Tatami. Why, why didn't you air dash a zombie? You're like, well, look. I should have done the jump combo. I was actually closer to the corner than I realized. That's going to break the wall. I should do just 2D into super there, I think. It would almost kill. Why are you not sealing the jump with the bat? No, it's, it's a lot of people too, like, upset that you are, like, not doing the move. Like, people are like, do the thing, streamer. Do the air to Tommy. You must do this funny. A lot of people want you to do it, I think, but I think it's just okay. It's not like the best move ever. It's not like it's really bad or anything. It's like, it's fine. It loses, to, like, this right here, like, an, yeah, I was gonna say, an approaching to Tommy like that gets smoked by six Ps in this game, like, really easily, actually. So you can't just, like, approach. Whoops, I didn't. Oh, I can't believe you did the fall. Did the follow up on whiff? Oh. If you go past them, it just means you should have done a neutral jump or a back jump uh, to Tommy instead of a forward jump to Tommy. I just want the streamer to do the behemoth. You want me to play more Gold Lewis? <laughs> you people have been asking you about dropping Happy Chaos? Hell yeah. Playing Day 4 Biken? I got, I got asked a lot if I'm a soul main still. Being a streamer is a lot of repeating yourself. You know the person who stands on the corner and they're like, fresh fruits, mangoes. Got your good fresh fruits here, whatever you need. The person who does that over and over, that's what being a streamer is like. You're like a town crier. Extra, extra. Zato and Eddie on the screen, extra, extra. That's like essentially your job as a streamer is to Oh my god. Why is Eddie still there? What the hell? How did that absorb that? Why did you do that? Okay. <laughs> and then you unsummon? Oh my god. I wonder why that didn't work. I was confused. Extra, extra. I was in. I was inputting a zombie or not? It was on send, so I wasn't blocking. I tried a six P. I said a zombie. <laughs> Did I play RuneScape back in the day? No, he's dead, right? Yeah. I'm the good cop to say damn is bad cop. That's just how it goes. Like, being a streamer is a lot of answering the same questions, so I get it. I didn't remember the combo. My own combo. I did the easy combo. I got lucky. Oh, uh, I wanted. I should have done something different actually than what I did. Oh, uh, interesting burst. What's the Obama line? When I say interesting, I mean bad. 
Probably shouldn't have burst there. It was a bit committal. I love the way she kicks you when she throws you. She's got a real satisfying throw animation. Yum, dum, 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 dum. Any advice on how to do something against Sato's leave? You just don't challenge it or hit it hit it with a 6P or something. You can 6P it or hit it when it lands with like your 2F. Oh, I tried to IFD. Why aren't all standard jump normals air dash cancelable? Um, they're they're just not. It depends on the. I think it depends on the character actually. Even it's not even universal. Is that wow? Leap went the other way. I don't know about all that. Why did Leap go the other way? I don't know if I agree with. I think I'm gonna burst here for position. Oh, I was two plus. Whoops, I'm gonna cross him up. Yonk. Maybe you try to air to air when I'm, or fly above me longer when I'm trying to just approach at you by jumping with jump S and stuff. You like your primary way of trying to anti air me was 6P me on the ground, which is good. But notice that I would like jump and then wait and then double jump and then you'd whiff your 6P and then I got to attack. Maybe try to air to air me earlier or like throw air throw me. You know, it's funny you say you don't have to get in anymore because I mean, Geo does need to get in sort of, but you can also just. Oh, no, no close slash. You can also just chill with Geo. You don't have to go ham. You just like going ham. Oh, where's my... Uh, oh, I'll take it. I baited the meter spin. Oops, that was an IFD. I shouldn't have got hit by that, actually. I should have just, like, blocked that and punished. I forgot the combo. My own combo. I don't know if it works from that far though. My combo smile. That combo is actually like the you made this, and then they grab it, and they like, I made this. And you say jam confirm, kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? My combo. Oh, I thought that was throw. Oh, I did 2H, but I went a little too far. What's the fastest go-to punish in this game? So throws are two frames. 
but otherwise three frames. And only Soul and um, Chip have three frame buttons. Every other character has generally five frame buttons. Five is, everybody has at worst a five frame button if that makes it easier for you. They standardize it. The reason a five frame button is important is because if somebody tries to throw you in this game, uh, you you need a five frame button to stop their throw. You have when you're exiting Blockstone or waking up, you have five frames of throw involved in this game. And so if you only have a six frame button, your throw invincibility will run up, run out. So if somebody does something that's like zero and then throws, you'll get thrown. So having a button that's uh, five frames is pretty important for that reason. Oh, that was me I being. That shit almost worked on a regular hit. Well, I did my far slash to beat his far slash. His far slash is like 12 or something. Mine's 10. I'm surprised it worked. Bro, can you chill the fuck out? Ko, why are you Anji players like this? Oh, that is an OTG, huh? He got close slash? Are you sure? Did he? Wow. I thought I was pretty sure it was far slash. Oh, really? Okay, that explains it then. I went the other, other way. Why did you look up 6P, huh? Oops. Oh, my end here. It was pretty far away, yeah. Oh, whoops. I messed up. I tried to super. Because I had so much bar. And I just got hit buffering during the down forward. Wow. I'm surprised he still had active frames there. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't reach. Oh, I tried 2H. The Gatlings, you can delay enough to have a gap in them so you can like leave enough of a gap that people can get hit or you can keep them tight and make it so that people who are trying to jump or something will get hit but generally this game has both high low mix-ups and left right you can do strike throw in this game also even though the gatlings are negative essentially like the way you think about it is that even if the move is negative you can still quote unquote like stagger off of it because the um the threat of another Gatling is really good. So like, let's say my this move is negative. Even if this move is negative, if I try to poke against like this character, I can always do that low after, and then that is threatening. So that they don't want to just like challenge. So I can do that move. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. What the hell? Yeah, that was a fake setup. That's why you had to jump. That shit is also mega fake. I always forget, Horse does like, he's like, um, he's always doing fake online shit. He plays in the tower so much. Oh, I countered, but too early. He just like misses his meaty by 17 frames. I 
want to get counter supered. That shit is whack. Oh, that was supposed to frame trap that. I might get bursted here. Ah, uh, why? Well, I, I should have just staggered. Ah, he always does that. He like always backdashes or mashes 2P against pressure. So staggering is actually really good against him. Because his defensive options are always like, they lose to the same thing. So like, because they both are susceptible to the, to the same type of offense to beat it, you don't have to change your pressure that much to stop it. Whoops. You can just do the same option and beat both things. You just frame trap for the button and then you also catch the back tap. Does that make sense? I don't want to be tethered anymore. Yeah, that was going to be a wall break. I try to whip punish the last but Oh, no throw tag. Okay. Ah, you hate to see it. Oh, I hit the wrong button to beat that. If I just did 5P, I would have beaten it, but... I'm not used to playing Biken, so I hit 2P, which is too slow. I forget that her 5 framer is her 5P. Uh, so if I want to beat throw, what are you doing? So if I want to beat throw, I have to look for whatever it's called. I have to look for my 5P instead, which I forget sometimes. That's not what I wanted. Ah, man. I have this problem. I notice whenever I play my secondaries against Horse, it's always a struggle. Like, playing Soul, no problem. Whenever I play my secondaries, he, like, scrambles a lot, and he does a lot of weird stuff. So if you're used to playing your main character, it's actually not... It's not so bad to deal with, but when you're playing playing a new character... Because so much of his pressure is like really, it's like really, um, he's mixing me. It, it's more like he's doing stuff that's like unorthodox and not great, but it's really useful when you're fighting against somebody who's playing a new character, right? Because essentially the response, the, the positions he's putting me in are not that good, but I'm having late responses to them because, you know. It's not my main character. Does that make sense? So, like, if it's my main character, I would re react to the situation accordingly. And then I'd be like, okay, this is fine. Like, no problem. But because I always have to think, like, what button should I hit with my character here? I'm like, that's a really punishable. Yeah, has a lot of recovery. I'm always just, like, a little late, which means that he's able to take advantage of it and do stuff that is not really... It's not really that good, but it's not, like bad enough that it's easy to stop with a new character. Oh, I tried to FD there. I wonder why I got hit. Maybe when I land it... What the? I'm dead. Unless he drops his... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've played him once already with Biken against Anji, and I beat him last time. But the, the problem is, you know, he just does a lot of stuff that's weird. So you gotta get used to it. Which is funny, because when I first played Biken, I beat him. Uh, but this time... I was trying to I was trying to think and stop the new stuff and then you know yeah I'm explaining because this is what happens in chat when you play against somebody and you lose the chat's like oh shit like this guy beat your day your day four biking with the character he's been maining since the gate the day the game come out he must be not only incredibly good but also doing all the right things and like that's not really true you know what I mean like in the sense that like I think a lot of people will watch that and be like, I should do all the stuff that Horse is doing. And I'm just saying, I don't always recommend some of the stuff because I think it's a little not so great long term. 
You, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think some of it is okay. Some of it's good, but there's also a lot of weird scrambles stuff that he does that I think you don't have to put yourself into. Yeah, Horse is a good player, but he also does some stuff that is, I, I, I think is a little questionable. Which is fine. He commits to a lot of weird stuff that I don't know why you have to commit to. I'm, but I'm of the opinion that you should look for a strategy. I think maybe my opinion is probably very different from most people. Uh, in the sense that I'm looking for a strategy that is consistent long term and like always works. You know what I mean? But like, not everybody is like that. Some people are just. Uh, some people are okay doing stuff that is loosey goosey. It depends on what you're it depends on what you're looking for. All this talk about the one that beats me, no talk about everybody that doesn't. It's not about winning or losing though. It's the most important thing, right? Cuz how many times have you heard me say something was good or something was bad on a, a person I beat or lose? You know. That's the important takeaway is it's, it's not about winning or losing, especially when I'm playing a new character. It's about doing good or bad things or making mistakes. Ah, oh, I hate that that breaks the wall. I got to confirm it to super. Like that. I got to do that on 2H. Yeah, I'm usually always looking for strategies that are consistent long term. So if I don't like a strategy, it's probably because I think that either it doesn't have a lot of legs in the long term or it um it is generally higher risk without high reward not to say that i don't like taking risks but i'm generally looking for things that will win you when you when you matches not today but forever you know what i mean oh nice Knowledge checks that loses somebody with their eyes open. Yeah. A good example is definitely knowledge checks are... Knowledge checks is one, but it's just also how you form your strategy is important. I don't get much there. Yeah, they just didn't walk low. Oh, I should have fuzzy jump. Anji kind of has to do gimmicks. See, that's the problem is I think people believe that that is true. I don't think he has to do gimmicks. Like, I don't think taking risks is a... This is always my conundrum when I talk about Anji, by the way. is like, I try to tell people that you can just play the character solid and like do normal stuff. And then like people are like, no, you have to... Like, you have to do this. You have to do weird, like not great stuff all the time to play the character and win. And, like, I don't think that's the case. I think that's what people want to do with the character. Just because people don't want to play him in a solid way doesn't mean, first of all, that that's not an effective strategy with him, but also that you can. Not everyone's KV. I didn't say you had to be KV. Why the fuck did she go that way? What the hell? I didn't say you have to be KV. I'm just suggesting... I'm just suggesting... A strategy that is consistent. That's all. You don't have to agree with me. You can do whatever you like. I just... I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, I love what you're doing. I think it's incredible. <laughs> A lot of fighting game players have that problem though, where their focus is not on about like, their focus is not on like, oh, this is a good thing to do. It's more like, am I winning today or am I not winning today? And that is really common. Even at very high levels, a lot of fighting game players are so focused on what do I do that wins me matches today and not like, how do I make sure that I always win this match in the future? 
Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You know what I mean? Isn't his mix reactable? Uh, in a vacuum, but everything in the game is reactable in a vacuum. And also, who says you have to do... Oh, my close slash. Who says you have to do the mix all the time? What's wrong with his perfectly, incredibly good buttons? That was my bad. I should have done dash close slash there. What's, what's wrong with his, like, incredibly useful and strong buttons? And you can just play strong strike throw with him. Yeah, you don't have to try to do overhead low stuff. I already see it a little too late. Like he has really good grounded grounded buttons and control. You don't have to be like that. You can, but why play Andre to strike throw with a minus two close slash? Do you think having a plus close slash is the only way you can play strike throw? I mean, it's the same reason I think that people don't think Kai is a strong character, maybe. When I think Kai is very good, I think Kai is like a super, super good, uh, super good character in this version especially. I mean, in general, I think he's pretty solid, but it's the same kind of idea. People limit themselves to like, oh, you have to have a plus. You need a plus this to do this pressure. Like, there's no way you can do it without it. Wow, that didn't kill. Wow, that sucks. All right, I'm gonna jump. Okay. He gets kind of dumpstered by Ram, does he? I mean, if if losing to Ram makes your character bad, I think a lot of characters are not good. Like, if having a tough time fighting Ram makes you bad, you know. A lot of characters are not so great. Oh fuck, that beat the parry. You know. Depends on how it goes. We're Melbourne, what up Melbourne? I don't know how I got there, but I'll take it. Oh, that sucks. Where did the bandages come from on our air throw? I don't know, that's a good question. Yeah, the second hit of the Tommy breaking the wall is very bad. I don't think there's a good cancel there, actually. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I tried air throw. Help! I have no idea why he did run up super, but I'll take it. Yeah, nice. Oh, there you go, Zon sent. Oh, 
Oh, I tried to TP, and I should have. Okay, I should have five peed maybe. Oh, I didn't build the meter. Oh, I fuzzy jump, but I got grounded at the Great, a great point about this too. Where I'm talking about play styles. Is like, so this this game, so Red did like five dash of raw supers or like air dash raw supers. Not a very good strat, right? But I mean, it did win a game. So I think a lot of people would point and be like, oh, this May player, the only game they won, they did lots of raw supers. So like raw super must be the way to win the matchup. When in actuality, like, you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big gamble. That's not going to work a lot of times. And it it's, it's expensive and costs is very risky to do. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's it. it was like a held input from me trying to do uh, RC on the Yozansen. <laughs> I burst Orcas? It wasn't a burst. It's a YRC. Wow, that didn't combo. Huh? Wow, that punish. Oh. That actually punished my... Yeah, I don't know if I have a safe cancel there. Maybe Kabari would catch 2S? I'm not sure. I wonder what I could do to cancel 2H from that far to be safe. Wait, there there could honestly be nothing. Honestly. Like... It could just be that you can't do 2H like that. Which is also not the end of the world. That was my bad. I should have dashed and done close slash 6H super. I was looking at a 6P dolphin. Wow, that beat my jump ass from that far. Well, good thing I didn't do that much damage. For a button with no whiff recovery. Oh, I did 2P again. I need to do a 6P. Or a 5P, I mean. Good thing that button with no whiff recovery did 85% mid screen. I want to block. Man, I'm surprised you just stayed blocking overhead. He hasn't blocked over. Ah, I did 2P again. I gotta remember to 5P. That has really cost me in this. I'm. This is the best wall break of my life. That has really cost me in this set and the horse set. I constantly. Oh, I didn't think he was just gonna do that. Okay, I could have six P R C'd and then won the game. Nice. The hardest thing about learning a new character is when people try to run up throw you. You have to remember which button to hit, and I constantly forget that it's five P because her five P has no range. So like I don't hit it that often. You know, I'm almost always hitting like two K or five K. Yeah, GG is there, Sir Red. I mean, I think it's the same thing as the last time you and I played. You take tons and tons of risks that I think are probably unnecessary. And it worked out today against against me when I was like uh, learning biking and distracted after I went up 2-0, but I think in general, you know, you gotta be a little careful. It might get you it might get you in trouble. That is so good in the mirror to be honest. Having the ability to save jump her, having the ability to save jump her with the Tommy is so nice. You don't have to worry about counter. Oh, whoops, I should have done jump S. Yeah, she doesn't have the best challenges on her lights or even confirms on her lights from farther away. It's like probably one of her only weaknesses. One of her only weaknesses in regards to her buttons because her buttons are really good actually. Without a counter hit, she does sub 200 damage. I mean, depends on depends on what you mean. Like her damage overall is 
pretty pretty good though. It's not like Biken has a damage problem. Whoops, I didn't mean to double jump. That sucks. And then combo, the 2H. Her damage is pretty good. Yeah, she save jumps almost every knockdown. Because if she gets a Tatami or a Kabari Ender, she just always gets the save jump like this. Oh, no burst. There it is. Can I kill with like this, maybe? Our long range buttons are not good on regular hit, yeah. But they are super good in general. Like this move on non counter hit, you still have such good options from it. So like, that's gonna wall splat. I guess I could have done the gun super in the air instead of that. I don't know which does more damage. Our folks are really good. They they don't have the the best reward, but it's probably for the better. Oh, no burst. I'm surprised. For hedge games, what up? Thanks for the uh, prime. Yeah, she does have some bad punishes on stuff. There are certainly matchups. If you're punishing a move that is minus 10 and it doesn't recover crouch, then she has bad punishes. That is something that she is not good at. And the reason is that her far slash doesn't combo into anything. It's just, she just gets far slash. I just, I, I keep not expecting them to go air to air there because I'm first. So if I just hit a button, then they'll lose. But I should just challenge probably. Lord Super does more. I would have been surprised if that wasn't the case, but you never know. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I missed the timing for the... I want this counter hit the Tommy combo. Okay, I'm not getting it. Like the built-in burst bait. The hardest part about switching from soul, for me, always, against every character, is there's like no scramble you can put me in almost with soul where I'm like, ah, I don't have a good button to challenge that. But like every other character, when you play them, you're just like, oh God, am I losing weight? Mm, I shaved my beard, That, that's a lot of weight. Keep your neck shaved. Yeah, I mean, if you have like hair that only grows on your neck, probably should keep that shit shaved. Best and work, worst biking matchup. The best is Twitter combos, and the worst is time. Oh, no burst, huh? Oh, I messed up. I did that in the wrong order. Oops. My air throw. I think I got jumpy. Is there close slash plus on block? No. Like most of them. Most close slashes are not actually plus. It's pretty rare that that's the case, actually. Whoops. That sucks. You're two plus. I'll take the corner. I should have supered, actually, because I think it would have killed. What are you doing over there? No, oh, what are you doing over there? Yeah, it's it's mo most are not plus. Naga's plus three. Yeah, Naga's plus three. Souls plus three. Maze's plus. Uh, Geo's plus. 
Whoops. I don't know how I ended up here. But I'll take it. Yeah, pot is plus four. Phase plus, yeah. How come I don't do use tether that often? I don't really like it. I think it's. I would only do it if it put if I was in like a combo, and it put me in like a good position. Yeah, the plus frames they don't always matter. I mean, they can obviously help, but for the most part, it doesn't actually matter that much. It, it does let you abuse some stuff a bit more, but. Oh. Another little kill. The scaling off of the blue beat there is like so severe, yeah. Oh, I did 2H. Yeah, Escobar is when you do it when it's like a counter hit starter, but not like. I don't just do raw as tether very much because I don't think it's very good. Oh. I just don't like being tethered to my opponent for no reason. Maybe, maybe like some people I think are okay with just scrambling from it, but I would rather not. Does that make sense? I would only I would only do it if I'm like getting a combo and I want to do something. Can you parry Bandit Bringer? Yeah. Oh, I, sh I did that too late. Surprised 2H didn't win. I get maybe I did it too early though. Damn, I was actually too far. Oh, it's that usually does work on crouch, but Yeah, I don't want to just tether people for no reason I only do it if it's like If it's like on a counter hit that I want like to get a cool combo from or something. Oh, I meant the air dash back I don't know what I got there. Like, this is cool, because, like, you can actually do, like, a combo from it. But I wouldn't do it on, like, a random hit. Whoops. How do you feel about our theme? I think our theme is good. Damn. What a mix. Damn, no close slash, huh? Uh, it's a charge dust. Other pot. Yeah, I mean, you only do it when you're in a combo, really. I feel like my brain is melting because a lot of people are like, uh, you know, like, man, you tether Potemkin, you die, haha. -ha. But, like, is it just because everybody's doing raw tether for no reason all the time? Like, I'm not doing raw tether because. No, like, I don't want to. I don't want to put myself in that position. I, like, don't get it. I don't understand why so many people are like, man, raw tether, am I right? Yeah, the only time I end up in a position where I'm, like, tethered to a character and they're getting pressure on me is, like, when they burst my tether combo. So, like, you know. Oh, where am I? Where am I in the universe here? Maybe I'm missing something. I thought that was going to be Berserker Slash, so I bursted to get them to the other side, but they didn't. Oh. 
<laughs> Damn, I already committed. <laughs> she really be staring at his shiny shoes, right? I hate when that happens. Isn't that the worst when you just end up on the other side randomly? You're like, oh no. Oh, I did it too late. Whoops. I think he'd bounce if I hit a button from that far anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Bang. She really do be having a gap, though. Safe jump versus Leo, a mythical matchup. The thing is, is like when you can safe jump Leo. Oh, whoops, I did it wrong. When you can safe jump Leo, the matchup changes. You're playing a whole new game. That was impossible to block. No one blocks instant overhead when they're landing from the air. Oh, rollback frames five. Wonder why I missed my Kabari. Or my uh, Yozanti. <laughs> Met a little, a little kerfuffle there. I'm out of here. Yo, yo, back that ass up, bro. Oh, I didn't get my dash. I heard Faust beats Ram. Who said that? Who told you that, Ditto? That sounds like a noon quote. Is that a noon quote? Oh, I try to dash up the. I'll take it. Wow, I'm on this side? All right, all right, all right. Say less. After the events of last week, I don't think we'll ever see Apology Man play Faust versus Ram again. Didn't he play Noon though? Oh, nice. Was I thought I thought What was the score when he played noon? And now he's a geo player? Yeah. Wait, who's a Geo player? Are you saying Noon is a Geo player or? Okay, that's what I thought. Oh no. Got him. Oh, I didn't get him. Cross up. I thought for sure Berserker Slash was coming. Fuck, I missed my Yozansen. I tried to parry. Thanks for the burst. That was so nice of you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is nice to have a game where Faust players are sad all the time. I gotta say. Geo doesn't beat Ram, she's just okay into her. I mean You know I have no idea. Uh 
I thought Geo was good against Ram, though. I thought that's like what the Ram... Are the Ram players just being sad? I should have the gun. I think Geo is... I think Geo is so good. I should play Giovanna. Could have done bait this. Oh, welcome to my neighborhood, motherfucker. I knew it was coming too. I was like, I'm gonna shoot his ass. If you're in my neighborhood for two seconds, you can still get blasted for five. I watch Giovanna and I just think like, man, there's so much power in those buttons. And then I watch them all just like dash at people and die. And I'm like, what if you just waited just a second? I'm like, what if you just whiff punish dash H? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yeah. Not so he's trash. Soul's so cool. Oh, that comboed on Crouch. What the fuck? Let's, uh, I'm gonna try to land my combo. Hold on. Damn. I think Viking's jump dust is a cool looking button for sure. Oh, I was too early. Now it's gonna break the wall. My least favorite thing about the Tommy. I'm over here now. That was pretty cool. Oh, I tried to air there. I don't know if I can do the uh, combo from there. This is my tether now. Oops. Wow. She's so little. I have seen the gun in the dust combos. Yeah, I've seen that. I mean, if you tether while they're tethered, I assume it just resets the tether timer. I, I don't assume it does anything fancy. It doesn't do anything different there, right? The tether shouldn't change because there's two, unless I'm completely misinformed. Sucks. I could have done. Oh my god, I could have done way more damage. But thank you for believing in me and bursting my bad combo. That's like a sign of respect. When someone bursts your shitty combo when you drop it, you're like, thank you. Thank you for believing in me, even though my combo sucks. How do you do the Yozansen move so fast? Um, you can buffer it while you air dash. So do air dash to Tommy and then try to do Yozansen right after. Buffering it after a jump is really easy.
Like this? This is pretty easy to do. I got a Glock. Any advice? I would say that um, you should look into um, using your far slash and 2H a little bit more. I feel like you didn't use a lot of her grounded normals as much. You were like in the air, which I like being in the air too. But you'll notice like a, a big part of my game plan is counter poking a lot with, with far slash. So if they want to hit buttons on the ground and then I approach in the air, right? Or I approach in the air like... You know, it's a little harder against Eddie. Give me a second here. Like, you know, I spent a lot of time approaching in the air, of course. But also, like, you got to use those really juicy ground normals that she's got to uh, set them up. Oh, I tried to jump past it. I should have just maybe blocked it. I love to eat that in the air there, so I'm like pr pretty happy with that. That was a throw if I've ever seen one. Eh, I tried to air dash to make it not smoke me, but I got smoked. I thought uh, I'll burst here. Oh, whoops. I tried to wire seam. Come on, I didn't get it. I'm not dead because there's no meter. Yo, Zon. Yeah, half of my stream chat are Anji players, and the other half is Kai players. Yeah, I think I think her normals struggle up close, or not struggle up close, but have issues with confirming from range because they're probably too scared for her to not only have good like tethered pressure and like her her air buttons are excellent and stuff, but they probably didn't want her to like just be able to smoke you with um i cannot believe that you're able to move eddie behind me there they probably didn't want her to be able to smoke you with largely um her far slash into 2h on regular hit is my guess they didn't want that to be a thing because it's like really good it would be really good oh, i'm surprised drill hit me there I should have super because I built the bar. I was just scared that Tatami wouldn't kill him, but it's Zato. His guts are bad. Oh, my 6B. What a block. You, uh, you gotta stop giving away <clears throat> Eddie for free. Like, how often do I just snipe Eddie against this opponent? For, like, no work, essentially, right? Making it, making it so easy to kill Eddie is the exact opposite of what you're looking to do with Zato. Oh, my, my dust. Fan now. To see it. For Shinogre, what up? And the lovely critical damage. Thanks for the fiver. You see how that, like, I'm just killing Eddie like that every time? That's really, I think, bad. You don't want that to be the case. Oh, I did super and it didn't come out, so I'm kind of happy about that. Oh. 
Oh, there's like a big gap there, but I didn't know what the challenge with with Biken. <clears throat> I don't know, when she does 2H from like a medium range where Tatami won't hit, I don't think she actually has something good there besides Tether maybe? You gotta, you gotta do Tether probably. Yeah, you can do um, 5k after getting Tether. After getting eight, the counter hit version of that, you can get 5k, but it's only really that useful for you in the corner. Because um, in the corner, it lets you do like that kind of a route, right? But in mid screen, whoops, I didn't get my. Oh, I did a, such a bad combo. I'm going to do it again. Oh, I didn't kill. The problems of fast pass? I mean, I'm aware of the problems of fast pass for Disneyland, but. We do things differently around here, all right? I messed up. Perfect. Sir, this is a Wendy's. If you get like a counter hit, whatever, into... There's like... A... I mean, you have some good options. Don't get me wrong, but... Whoops. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, I didn't combo, huh? He's not gonna kill, I don't think. Help! Nice combo, thanks. I tried IFT. Tried it again and I got counter hit. I don't know if this is gonna work. Is that a nice combo? Oh, my air throw. I was gonna shoot again. Can I play you if I sub smile? You gotta wait in line. No special privileges. Oh, I challenged too late. I should have 5 p'd. my combo by the way there's nobody else's combo The Sage Jam, if you will, yes. Call that combo the Cowlick. It's for my hair, but I have a Cowlick. Oh. 
your problem that's a that's a situation that she does not get a good um, punish from if you hit somebody with like uh something that's like minus 10 or he blocks them that's minus 10 and she, her best punish is just far slash like she doesn't get anything else from it it's just far slash on counter hit or crowd she gets 2h but wow you guys need jesus you know that like you got a real fucking problem, and I'm not gonna support you guys. When I go to like bail you out, and I'm like, are you in here for gold bursting again? You guys are like, yeah, seventh time this week. Fucking letting you out. It's a goddamn racket, I swear. Fucking racket. You guys are in here just gold bursting it up. Fucking hell. I'm surprised that pulled me in from that far. Oh, I didn't get cross up. You were swinging? What the? What are you doing? Oh, I thought I was going to land. Winning, I suppose. I'd be my far slash. Wow. I hit the follow up of my whatever it's called. Oh, my, I thought my whatever it's called was going to hit. Huh. Five gold burst setups to hit Judas with? Yeah. You can hit. Uh, apparently, I didn't realize you could throw the... Uh, I think it's only if they do it up close, though. Like, right there, I wasn't close enough. Yeah, Escobari is zero. But uh, Escobari is minus three. So it depends on what you're trying to do. Like, But in general, I don't really use... Uh, I, re I don't really use Escobari for much. Wow, that's still funny. I use it for counter hit combos. That's basically what I use it for. Every other situation, I think, like, you put yourself at risk for something that's not that impactful. It's not that good. The follow up is also minus three? I don't think so, actually. But maybe. Oh, I tried to parry. Are we still tethered? Jesus. It's a long time. Oh, oh my bad. Yeah, I don't think that's that good. I could be... Wait, what happened to my Tatami, actually? What the fuck? Tatami just didn't hit, I guess? Maybe I didn't get the input for it. Or not the input, the... I didn't have enough hang time for it. <clears throat> what? Oh, 
Oops, that was two H. I mean, like, I'm like questioning why I'm here. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think uh, uh, the, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, GG. My only goal was the Goldberg dust and be a Strive gamer. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. Like, it's funny to Goldberg sometimes, but when the match is just you doing Goldbursts over and over and doing supers from full screen and 5Ds, like, you know, I don't want to spend my time doing that. If you want to do that, that's cool, but I'm okay. And thanks for the games. West Borland? Who the fuck is West Borland? Wow, that tracked me? What the? Uh, I think I did it to Tommy too late. The guitarist for a Limp Biscuit? What the fuck? You know, he really is the guitarist for Limp Biscuit with a name like. What's his name? To Tommy Boris or some shit? Tommy Boris. I mean, it's not like Limp Bizkit is before my time or anything. It's just, I don't know the name. I can't tell you the names of like every person in a band usually, or like even most of them probably a lot of the times. Oh boy. Action is a little spooky. Pull out the gat on him. The lead singer and maybe the guitarist, like maybe, but even then it's probably not, not gonna happen. It's not because I don't respect the musical craft or anything, but like also, do you know anybody that makes Guilty Gear besides, like, Dice Gear? You know, how many people do you know that, like, made G G Strive? You know what I mean? Like... Ha! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed my... He was on Zen. I missed... I just did it on Wake Up. So sad. You know John Arxis? Me too. You, you, me you memorized the credits? Yeah, me too. You know what's fucked up? Is he's gonna get crossed up into the corner while being in the corner. Isn't that messed up? Surprised his jump ass won there. Any denim color was made for me straight up. It's just they make all the characters have the same colors. I just always pick the denim one. Every color is the same, right? They have their default, which is one color, and then they have like white, yellow, green, they have a red, they've got a blue, which is six. Oh whoops. TK Yozen, Yozan Sen be six feet. If you do it, like, uh, I'm sure it can be six feet if you do it raw, but if you just are doing it, like, when it's tight, I mean, no. Kind of, oh, I air through. I'm kind of surprised that comboed, if I'm honest. You know what I just realized? I don't know what her cross up move is.
Nice. Feels onsen. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. When you put it like that. Yeah! How you liking her so far? I mean, she's hella fun. Even when you're getting shot to death, she's fun, which is a good sign because most characters are not that fun when you're getting shot to death. Whoops. The counter is so busted. I don't think it's very strong. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's useful to have, but it's not very active. It's very easy to accidentally beat it. When a counter is easy to accidentally be, I wouldn't consider it that strong. Okay, no burst bait. I'll do it. Why not? All right, I'm gonna get shot to death. I can have D as long as I have meter to do 2H. Oh, yeah, into this. Yeah, I think her, her counter is like good, but I mean, it's not that good. I messed it up. You were pretty close to winning like basically every round, I feel like. Vikings got bigger booze with every installment. You know, someone mathematically proved that wrong. Someone did do the math. I wonder if it was a Biken player or do you think it was a Biken player who did the math or was it someone? Oh, I thought I saw Stroke, but I did not. Or it was someone who plays another character who wanted the world to know that their character had it better. How's his name allowed? I don't know if you saw... I've, I've played the goon many times. I don't know if you saw his thing, but it says Asian last name as his uh, title because it's his actual name. And if you don't believe me, I got sent a picture of his ID. He sent me a picture of his school ID with his last name on it. That's actually, this is actually true. Send me a, a picture. Oh, I was gonna say, is that meaty? Ah, I tried to 5P. Yeah, Lotus, I mean, that is how it goes. I should change my last name. <laughs> should change my last name to uh, Saltine if you catch my... Wouldn't that be funny? I think that's the funniest world on, word on the planet. I'm so sad Twitch... Twitch started... <laughs> started, like, getting mad about it because that word makes me laugh. It's so funny. I actually don't think I'm going to break the wall here. Oh, fuck. I was going to end it right there, so I didn't break the wall. It's just so fun. That word is my. It makes me laugh. It was. He was white. Ah. Oh, nice. That was good. I didn't think. I didn't think he had time, but. I thought that shit counter hit. Now I'm stuck. Help! Okay. Help! What if I just woke up? Oh. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I knew he was going to stroke. He was so low on life that I didn't even have to do like something committal like 2S. Because 2S will also beat it. His notes are not cooperating. The tether pulled me in so the note didn't hit me meaty. I could have done a better air combo because I was close enough to the corner there, but... Wow. Oh, her 5P didn't anti there. Didn't work there either. Just dive? Oh, all Eno players dive here, right? Are you sure you're an Eno player? I'm starting to... I'm starting to question you.
Do I bait YRC here? Probably, right? Okay. I'm gonna hit two S. Yeah. I haven't been doing enough TK Yozansen, huh? I say that because he blocked low. I was surprised. Okay, let's play defensive now. Let's let's look for stroke. And now we look for air dash and dive. Oh, my 5P. I'm gonna do it. Ha! Okay. I have no clue what Biken does. She sort of just controls the space that characters want to run into and then smokes you for trying to get in there. You know what I mean? Like, she's one of those characters where her objective is for you to run into her shit and die. Like, she doesn't really want to run at you. She kind of wants you to run into her. It's kind of similar to Anji in that way, where she's a good counter puncher. She can just control space and then you are like trying to get in and approach in that space and you're like, dude, this character's an asshole. Boom, bam. Oh, this connection kinda, okay, hold on. Oops, that was 2H. Yeah, that is like kind of a problem, huh? She doesn't have the best answer there. Wow. Good old Axel. Good old Axel 2K. I should have done raw jump D. Oh, nice. What are you pulling up on me for, bruh? You got a problem? Why does it gotta be like that? Damn, for the big Eris host. What up, Eris? What up, Eris' viewers? Hey, I know all you no pants. All you people like no pants. You like characters with big old, you know what I'm saying? Hats. So you guys are Axel fans. Every time I look into that Eris Discord, no pants is posting some degenerate an uh, anime shit and. I'm like, this is the company you keep, eh? Yeah, all Aeris fans like hot dogs. That's true. You guys all got the hots for Axel. I don't know what she gets to punish that. Maybe her 2H actually punishes Snail. I have no super. I know how you guys are. I don't know if any of you are the same, but my longest sub on Twitch is Eris, actually. I realized, I realized it today when I was looking at my subs. I think it's like 71 months or something. And I was like trying to think, I was like, man, that is a long ass time. I don't even know what life was like 71 months ago. That's so long. You're my favorite streamer, smile. This Axel player is confusing me. They like don't zone. Rush down Axel, you love to see it. Wow, that IB messed me all like all kinds up. Isn't that almost like six years? <laughs> it's over six years. Right? Oh, it's almost six years actually, yeah, you're right. It's over five years. Uh I could have done a gun super, I think. I got a gun. Almost, yeah. It's a long time. Oh, it's a Kai player. I'm going to the bathroom. Give me 30 seconds. Dude, the Kai player is going to run up to your bathroom to throw you. You're right. My neck hurts. Oh, you got to take it easy. There's a few pains. I remember when I was young, my, my dad told me this, and I never really thought about it until 
much later, but he said there's a few pains that are the worst things in the world, and it's your tooth, your back, and your neck. He was like, if your back is fucked up, or your neck is fucked up, or something in your mouth hurts, it's over. Like, you're fu you're out. If you have a toothache or something, boy, you are just fucked, right? Like, there's not a lot of shit. You can you're just like, my fucking teeth hurt. So, I've always tried to take care of my teeth because of that. And back is like, you just can't do anything. It's over. Like, sometimes you just wake up and your back hurts for, like, you slept wrong or something funny, and you're just like, Ugh! you, like, cannot move, right? That shit is, shit is just cursed, like, that is how it goes sometimes, right? Like, you sort of find yourself in a position like that, and you're just like, man, I'm, st I'm stuck. Oh, that's not gonna combo. I didn't get close last. Even if you're not old... I think that will happen to you, you know what I mean? Because, like, even when I was much younger, I gotta do 5P there. Even when I was much younger, I, uh, I found that there would be days where I would sleep bad on my back or something. And that shit would hurt. This connection is awful. Yeah, this one is really bad. The, um... A lot of frame drops on our connection. It was up at like... It was up at uh, like 5 frames or something with 70 ping, which is unusual. I think it was okay there though. PC overheating. Mine. 69. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on the rollback frames and see if it changes. Oh, I tried to IV it. Whoops, that's supposed to be IED to beat the projectile. Uh-oh. I was waiting for DP. That sucks. I dropped the combo because I wasn't sure what combo I was supposed to do there. Oops, that was... Oh, I forgot what I... I actually don't know. I didn't forget. I don't know what to do to punish that. I don't, I was gonna lab something for it, but I don't have anything. Maybe counter, but counter's kinda whack. Parry is a whack answer. You don't want your answer to be parry. Maybe I'll try 5k. I've been trying to 5p it, it doesn't work. I also tried 6p, and you know, 6p's are kinda hit or miss against it. I like that back dash. Nice, I try to throw tech. Wow, that's that spooked me. Came out of nowhere. Anyone here ever have a kidney stone? Oh my god. I have not, but that that seems like the kind of shit that is like when you do have it, you're like, yep, this is my fucking life now. I didn't kill. Oh, that's bad. How about he? You telling me a kidney made this stone? Mm -hmm. Nice block. Bad punish, but it's kind of to be expected when Viking's new, right? Oops.
<laughs> I'm gonna backdash and shoot the gun. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised that hit that actually. Oh, I don't know if he should have spent the bar. Because, like, he breaks the wall here, which resets us back to neutral, and he doesn't have, like, an advent. Well, that works, but he doesn't have a good position, right? So, like, by breaking the wall there, like, imagine if I stayed on the ground and I ant here. Like, it's just, he loses his good position for nothing, you know what I mean? So, like, that's why I don't really like, uh, what's it called? That's why I really don't like spinning meter in situations like that. Oh, I should have parried again. I need to find something there that works. Cause like he could just hold the corner instead and then after holding the corner, you know, if he hits me, then he kills me, you know? So it's like better. I think that's better. I tried 5P again. I still don't have an answer to that. I still don't have an answer to that. Don't do it chat. Don't look at that situation and be like, haha, flippy do work. Brick wall was good. Okay, don't do that. You can't pay birds. Just instead think like, yeah, if he just held the corner after Flippy Doo, which CSE next hit, he's got like throw RC. He's got like, you know, all this stuff in the corner he can do. Like that's a great position. I gotta be careful about whipping that. Oh. This person is blocking a lot of my, um, I think the wall is kind of low. I'm going to do this route. Uh, this person has been blocking a lot of my Tatami's on block, so I might try staggering a bit. Let's see, I don't want to get hit by, well, that's what I was waiting for. I tried super. Tried it again. Oh, I thought they had meter to cancel that, so I didn't I didn't challenge because I was actually like I shouldn't do this. But I should have just challenged. I didn't even realize. Chip and stun dip room. Dip the chip. I'll try to IB it. That was my mistake there. I should have I should have air thrown. Oh, I tried to hit a button, not backdash. Should I air thrown again? That should hit again. I'm gonna burst. Uh, I should have six feet. Oh, I don't have a good punish there. That does combo on crouch, but. Whoops, that was my bad. I tried to do five, uh, five p six p six k, and I got. I don't do neutral jump. I do super jump forward into air dash h. H. Sorry, the connection wasn't great. It was weird. It was like really chunky in the first round, and then it was fine. Maybe you like, maybe it was because you all tabbed, or I just came back after a while. I don't know. It was fine after the first round. Yeah. Yeah, normally I end around five all the time, so that's just a, an idea to keep in mind. I also streamed, I did like a double bike and stream this week.